What's happening, Automotive Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, this is something I'm really excited about checking out. It's the FenSense parking sensor. It's a license plate frame that helps you avoid backing into things. Now, there are a number of them out there. You know, one was the Pearl that I was kind of intrigued by, but they are so expensive generally that I've never tried one out. But the FenSense here is not that expensive and it seems to give me all the same features that I need for or backing out my car and being safe about it. Now, I have cars that have no backup aids whatsoever. My GMC Terrain actually has a camera, but it has absolutely no sensor capability. So it's kind of okay, but it's only kind of partially there. And then my Fiat has nothing and my Plymouth obviously has nothing. Now, one of the things is <laughs> I only have one of these and I'm kind of torn about which car I'm gonna use it in. Here's the QR code if you wanna download the app. On my Fiat, even though it's pretty small and you can kind of see a lot of things, uh, again, you, you don't know sometimes if you're about to, you know, run over a package or your garbage can or lawnmower or whatever. Uh, here is all of the stuff that's included. So we get uh, the FenSens license plate frame, which is pretty, uh, pretty impressive looking here. It's actually got a fairly big bump on the bottom here. I'm sure there's a battery. Move this sticker and place lower registration tabs here in case that covers it up. In my case, the registration tabs are up on the top. Looks like these are the sensors right here. You do have holes here for screwing uh, your license plate down. I'm assuming those are the kind of the standard license plate holes. Up here, it looks like you have, I don't know, maybe the transmitter or something like that. But it's quite a bit thicker than a normal license plate frame. But nonetheless, this black frame looks a lot like those big plastic frames that auto dealers put on cars anyway. Now we also have some screws here, kind of the standard license plate screws and um, spacers. We have right here, oh, uh, this is like a magnetic vent mount. So you could use this plate, put it uh, on the back of your phone or in the case, and that'll stick your phone up where you can see it, kind of like an onboard screen. A little plastic bag here with some batteries, which is, probably what the license plate frame needs to work on. I believe it connects via Bluetooth. The AA battery, lithium batteries right here. So that should last quite a long time in there. And then we also have uh, this tap button, which I think you actually clip to your steering wheel. And then you have this tap button and that will launch, I think the app on your smartphone. They also include some tools here and you're gonna need these because to get those batteries in requires a special tool and apparently it is this one this little one right here and so this cover comes off you can see here they're kind of like the apple bits um they're like torx bits with a little nipple in them so you're going to need to remove this cover to get your batteries in which is as simple as unscrewing these and then you can put in the batteries they include here and snap that back on and tighten those back down Let's go install it then. So I got the fence ends installed on my Fiat 500 here. And as you can see, they use the proprietary screws, which you're gonna need that tool for. Uh, the good and the bad about that is, you know, it's an expensive piece of hardware and you don't want it to jacked. So it's kind of nice security to be able to have kind of those um, kind of weird screws, protecting it from people who are just going to unscrew it and steal it. Uh, it does stand out a little bit, but I think that looks pretty good and it's pretty subtle and uh, I will say that I've gotten the, the button paired up with it here, so I will just hit this, launch the FenSense app, and show you what it does. It is pretty clever. As soon as you load it up, it goes to the home screen that shows you a bird's eye view of your car, and then it gives you kind of um, lines radiating from the sensor showing you how close it is to uh, an obstacle. Now, I've noticed that it uh, beeps pretty loudly, as loud as your phone is, when things are in that red zone. But as things are outside of that zone, it'll still detect them, but it'll shut off at least the, the beeping sensor. So as I was walking towards and away from the license plate frame, it was definitely showing me the distance reading uh, in real time and even as I shifted from left to the right side, you know, it was definitely favoring one of those sensors So overall it worked great uh, I didn't have any obstacles with it and it seemed to be very very quick and responsive uh, and very very reliable so really excited about this I think it's gonna make driving a lot safer if you want to pick up this I will put a link to it in the description Peter Von Panda out